All right, so before we get started, I'm about to give a lot of good information about being married and joining the Air Force. And some of them may sound really good. I'm not a marriage counselor or anything, but I do not recommend that you get married just so you can start receiving some of these benefits. So when you go to basic training, you're not gonna be able to take your spouse with you. You know, obviously they're gonna have to stay and you're gonna have to finish out the duration of basic training. The difference between you and everybody else is that you're gonna start receiving your housing allowance right away. So whatever zip code you have as your home of record, you're gonna start receiving housing allowance for that zip code day one of basic training. Also, because you are separated away from your family, you also may be entitled family separation pay. Family separation pay is about $250 a month and it's given to you when you are separated from your family for longer than 30 days. However, when you go to tech school, you may not always receive family separation pay. And let me tell you why. If you go to a tech school that is longer than 20 weeks, then you are entitled to bring your family to your tech school location. Once you're in tech school for longer than 30 days, you can have your family come out. You can either get an apartment or you can use the on-base housing if they have any available. If you choose not to have your family come out because it'll be a hassle for you or them, then at that point, you are not entitled to family separation pay because at that point, the Air Force is not forcing you to be away from your family. So you just opted out of that money. If your tech school is shorter than 20 weeks, then you are entitled to that family separation pay. And like I said, it's $250 a month. If you choose to have your family come out and live with you anyway, you can request for them to come live with you, but it's gonna be at your own expense, meaning you're gonna have to pay for all the relocation fees. Unlike if your tech school was longer than 20 weeks, the Air Force will pay for the entire move. And also something to keep in mind with all this COVID-19 going on, they may not allow your family to move to you, even if your tech school is longer than 20 weeks, just because of the pandemic. So at that time, you are gonna be entitled to that family separation pay the entire duration of your tech school. Another benefit for you and your family is gonna be the healthcare. Upon joining the Air Force, you and your family are entitled to free or low cost healthcare. So when you go to basic training, you have to enroll them into the DEER system. That's the, I don't know what that acronym stands for. Um, defense Enrollment Eligibility System, something like that, I'm sure, I'm not sure. But you're gonna enroll them in the system and then you're gonna send them the ID card paperwork. So your spouse is gonna receive the ID card paperwork through the mail and then they have to take that to the nearest military installation so they can start getting access to the base. If they need healthcare prior to getting this ID card, they can do it, they just have to keep the receipts and then later they're gonna send those receipts off to TRICARE so they can get reimbursed for whatever expenses were incurred. All right, so once you finish your tech school, the Air Force is gonna pay for you and your family to move to whatever your duty location is. So whether you took them to tech school with you, if your tech school was longer than 20 weeks, or whether they stayed at home, you're gonna be allowed a movement of your family with all expenses paid by the Air Force. There are certain situations when you can't take your family to your duty location. What the Air Force has, they have accompanied orders and they have unaccompanied orders. So if you have accompanied orders, that means that your family, your children, everybody can come to the duty location. But if you have unaccompanied orders, then you're gonna have to do the duty location by yourself. And these are usually like 12 to 20 24 month tours. And I dropped a link down in the description box below and it tells you all the different locations for unaccompanied and accompanied tours. All right, so let's say you get accompanied orders and you get to your duty location. The Air Force is gonna give you the option to live on base or off base. If you stay on base, you're gonna be given base housing. Basically, the government has little neighborhoods that they provide to their members. Um, I actually used to stay in base housing when I was stationed at Langley Air Force Base. And it's pretty cool, it's like a duplex. I think we had a three bedroom. It was pretty sizey for my family at the time. And um, one of the coolest things I remember about it is they cut my grass in Langley, so I didn't have to cut my grass. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, that may not be the standard everywhere, but in Langley, that's, they cut my grass, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the, the thing about it is that I wasn't allowed to keep my housing allowance because I was staying on base. But I didn't have to worry about paying water, I didn't have to worry about paying electricity, and I didn't have to worry about paying rent. So I thought it was pretty cool at the time. You can also choose to live off base, and at that time, you're gonna start receiving receiving your housing allowance for whatever duty location you're living at. At that point, you could choose to rent or buy, but keep in mind that housing allowance is designed to cover your rent and mortgage and your utilities. So when you're searching for somewhere to live, make sure you're keeping that in mind. And I made a couple videos that can help you even further with this. I made one that talks about all the money we receive and it can kind of give you an idea of how much you can expect to make. And I made another one about the VA home loan. So if you're stuck about whether you're gonna rent or buy, that video can kind of help you with that. I really hope this video brought value to you. Like I always say, stay beautiful, stay classy. Until next time, check me out.